Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Joe Yates and in this video we are going to be getting stuck into replacing the battery in S15 with this brand spanking new one right here behind me. As we edge closer to finally getting this registered on the road, I'm so happy to be doing the final few steps. So the battery needs to be securely mounted and so with my setup I'm actually going to be making a custom battery tray and mounting it that way. So we've already got the actual clamp itself, which actually came with the Blitz front mount intercooler kit, which is really handy because I actually didn't have one of these before. So that's going to come in handy. That's perfect for what we need. So if any of you in Australia, if you want to have a look, uh, and you can probably cross-reference this if you're in other parts of the world, that is the part number of the battery that I'll be using, which is just the replacement for the S15 200SX. And the rating on the battery is... 480 cold cranking amps and it's got an amp hour rating I believe of 45 amp hours and of course guys it's uh, proudly made in Australia so guys this is what we're working with so I've popped the boot or the trunk if you're in America uh, yeah so this is the plate I've cut out so this is just checker plate that I just brought locally it's quite expensive stuff um, it's just a couple of mil thick and I've cut that out to the size that I want for the battery tray. And um, what I'm doing for my setup, I've got the extra bracing that came on the spec R. So I want to retain this. And so I actually needed to raise the battery tray by a certain amount. So that's why I've got this boxed alloy that I've just cut. And then we'll have our battery go in roughly there somewhere there and then I've already got the battery positive cable here and it appears to be the right size which is good and I've got the negative one here as well then we've got the bracket that I mentioned earlier and showed you guys earlier that'll just go there somewhere I'm gonna to have to drill some holes or something for these rods to fit into the battery plate itself okay so this is what the setup will look like roughly this is what i've mocked up here so we've got the battery clamp we have the battery here which is sitting on the checker plate that we've cut out what we are going to do we're going to cut this checker plate down probably close to half the size and that is just going to be bolted to this boxed alloy so I've decided to go with just some boxed alloy that's just a little bit uh, taller and that'll clear that brace perfectly and it'll also clear this plate here so yeah I'm gonna get to cutting that down to the right size probably sort of about from there to there that size and I'll cut the checker plate down and we'll go from there so I've done a dummy fit and now I need to make uh, an adjustment to this piece here. I need to cut it down in size. So I've measured out 215 mil to be pretty much how long I want the battery tray to be. Just line my square up. Now we'll trim that down and we'll be closer to where we need to be with the size of the battery tray itself. Now to stop scratching up this nice checker plate that we paid good money for, I just got some tape, tape here and we can just tape either side of the line. And that way we'll just minimise scratching up this nice piece of alloy. Now it really just comes down to a a steady hand to make the cut as straight and evenly as possible. Got my trusty jigsaw. So I'll just get a nice flat file and we'll be able to just take that edge and make it as straight as we can possibly get it just by doing this by hand. We've got my nice flat file here. Got a nice straight edge, so that's what you want. So 
So that's what it's looking like currently. Uh, we trim that checker plate down now. And now just got to sort of mark out where this clamp is going to go. And I'll probably have to mark out where the rods will need to go through the checker plate, which I'm going to probably cut out um, maybe this piece here and on the other side. And then we we may end up just bending a portion of the checker plate up and then drilling a hole through and the rod will be able to pass through the battery tray and we'll be able to tighten this bad boy down. So we want some side clearance for the battery where it is mounted so I've allowed just about an inch. Uh, an inch will do so if we need to tuck any leads behind this battery here along the side we can do so if we need to. So I've got the battery exactly where I want it to be mounted to on the actual plate itself and I've lined up the bracket center. This this is an offset uh, bracket anyway. For the alignment I'm actually going off the top of this battery bracket here. So I'm going to mark roughly where this rod will need to go. Just sort of on both sides. I've lined it up the best I can with my eye. So what I managed to do is right here I've put in a little L bracket and I just made that up out of just some scrap, some leftover, and uh, bent it at a right angle, drilled a couple of holes, and that's bolted to the battery plate itself, and drilled a hole there for the rod. So I go pull the battery out now. You'll find that we have this tab here, which I've bent up, and underneath the newly cut battery tray, which is a lot smaller than when we first started. Uh, I've cut down that boxed alloy uh, so it matches the width of the new plate right there. So then now we need to bolt actually this box alloy to the body of the vehicle, um, just pretty much from four points. I'll drill a, a hole in each corner and we'll just secure it with a nut and bolt and spring washer. Okay, so the battery plate has been cut to size. I've made this little L bracket to secure the battery width. Um, I've secured this little L bracket just with a couple of bolts and nuts, as you can see on the underside there. And that box alloy that I was talking about, um, I've cut that now to size and I've drilled four holes and I've used a special bit this bit here uh, and that just allowed me to make a nice countersunk hole for the uh, the countersunk screws to fit in so you get a nice flat flush fitment so for this side to begin with what I ended up doing was just basically cutting out a rectangle either side and then I just bended carefully this piece up to a right angle and then drilled a hole through it and that's all that was really required for this side but yeah so far I think it's turned out really great so before we can fit this now to the body we are going to have to drill some more holes uh, basically I'm going to drill a hole either side of every uh, point every corner just beside the counters countersunk screws that we've got here just about there and I'm going to drill the hole out larger and that will just allow me to get like a socket in there to tighten it up from the top because there will be actually no way to basically secure this unless I actually drill a larger hole and then I can basically fix it. I've marked out all four to be drilled out and we're going to start by drilling a small hole straight through straight through the box alloy here and then after we've drilled smaller holes for the bolts so it'll be the same size as the actual bolts themselves after we've drilled all those four holes we will then proceed with drilling out the larger hole here so that we can actually get a socket in there and be able to affix the actual battery tray to the body of the vehicle
Right guys, so there you go. So we've drilled the larger holes so that we have now access to being able to bolt this to the car. All right, so that's the complete fabbed up battery tray now. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now all that's left really is to mount it. I've just drilled out small holes to begin with, uh, four of them. So yeah, the design of this one was quite easy. It was just basically a piece of scrap that I just made into an L bracket which wasn't very hard to do at all. And then with this one, this side here, we just utilize the actual plate itself and I just cut the two sides out and then bent this side up and drilled a hole through. So the battery will be nice and secure. Then we moved on to cutting the box alloy and to the right size, to the right width. So I was able to drill four small holes and then I was able to fix the plate to the box alloy and then once that was done then it was on to pre-drilling the holes ready to mount the plate the battery tray to the body of the vehicle so we started with just a small drill bit first and drilled the holes straight through then i came back with a larger drill bit and i drilled out a larger hole just so that we'd be able to actually do the fitting the fixture up so that brings us to actually now going and fitting the battery tray. Okay, now time to mount the battery tray. So I've gone and I've put the bolts through. I've only put three through because one hole we can't actually put one of these bolts through because we won't actually be able to get to it. Um, so yeah, I've just drilled out the holes. They're just a little bit, uh, a little bit larger in diameter now, ready for those bolts. And I can pretty much just line that up now and they all should just slot down there. If you have a look on the underside you can see where the actual bolts have come through and I'll put a nut on that one. I've got to tighten that one up still and then there's one there. Um, unfortunately the other one actually goes through this rail which I don't think I'll be able to get to but you never know I might be lucky. Okay, now that we've tightly secured the battery tray, the new battery tray, um, tightly with these bolts, it is not going anywhere. It is solid. I'm quite happy with that indeed. Now we can actually finally, after all of this, fit the battery. Okay guys, so that is how you do it. That's how you make a custom battery tray for your Nissan S15. And so if I test it, like, it's, it's pretty rock solid. I'm confident it's not going to just fall out so that's what we want and um, I just recommend getting some protective covers for your battery terminals uh, also a really good idea I'll tidy the cabling up at a later date but for all purposes of right now just getting the battery located fitted securely is of utmost importance to me right now I really hope this helps you guys out and gives you maybe some tips and ideas for your own car Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you got any tips, then this was really for you guys. So have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.